it seems we just can't resist buying new clothes. But what happens to the millions of tons of textiles we throw away every year in Europe? Ghana and Accra, simply there, 15 million pieces of clothes every single week arrive in the city. There was a new generation of kids, they didn't even have never seen the soil underneath all of this textile waste. Imagine, they were playing on grounds that was built of our textile waste. Hello and welcome to Business Planet. I'm at a recycling plant in Slovenia, where old fishing nets and carpets are transformed into a special nylon yarn called Econil, which can be recycled infinitely. Let's find out how. This is where the Econil journey begins, in a warehouse near Ljubljana, where the waste arrives. Old fishing nets, fabric scraps and thousands of tons of old nylon carpets. These materials are all made from nylon 6, a common type of nylon, which can be turned into Econil. I caught up with the developer of Econil in Italy. Aquafil is producing nylon, but instead of using oil, we are starting from waste. Some of them are particularly ugly, like fishing nets, carpets, and other plastic waste that the industry couldn't recycle before. So it's a kind of journey from trash to treasure. A chemical recycling process turns the nylon waste back into raw caprolactam, a substance that's normally made from crude oil. It's squeezed into long spaghetti-like strings and then cut into tiny chips before it's spun into fine strands of yarn. So this is Econil yarn after the chemical recycling. And what is this going to be used for eventually? Some of the Econil yarns are used for carpets, but these ones we see here are used to make clothes, for example, sportswear, swimwear, underwear, anoraks, backpacks. And it's how those items are designed in the first place that makes all the difference to how they can be recycled. You can imagine a jacket. A jacket is having different layers of fabric, the sewing thread, the labels, the zippers, metal components, many different types of fiber, sometimes intimately blended together. That's the difficulty of uh, arriving to fiber to fiber recycling. The product is simply not made uh, for being recycled at the end. In Europe, textile waste is a staggering 12.6 million tons a year. Most is either burned or goes to landfill, some's exported. The European Commission plans to introduce an extended producer responsibility scheme. This makes the producer, the brand, pay for the entire life cycle of their products, including the disposal. The more polluting an item, the more they pay. The money will go towards recycling facilities and research into circularity. I went to Milan to meet Matteo Ward, who runs a sustainable design studio. He's high hopes of the extended producer responsibility scheme. This is a fundamental change, you know, because we'll put incentives in the brands in hopefully creating products that are last to last, designed to last longer, that are more durable, that are eventually recyclable, that can be regenerated, which is something that brands don't do right now because they have zero incentives in doing that. Matteo is a poacher turned gamekeeper. He used to work for a mainstream US brand but became disillusioned with fast fashion after a textile factory collapsed in Bangladesh in 2013, killing more than a thousand people. That was the moment. You know when you look at yourself in the mirror and you're like, man, what am, what am I doing? And like, I did not want to be a complicit in the murder of thousands of people worldwide through my job. Never. But I, in reality, I, I was, because I never, ever questioned whether the jeans and the t-shirts and the hoodies that we were selling were coming from factories like that one. Rad works with schools to highlight the social and ecological problems of fast fashion and consults with brands like Candiani Denim, an Italian company that makes biodegradable denim. Recycling technology and sustainable fabrics will have a part to play in the future of fashion. But we consumers need to change our habits if we want to reduce the impact our clothes have on our world. See you next time on Business Planet.